everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a video about high school. Ooh, interesting. So if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Sterling. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and all that. We're trying to reach 1K. I'm so close. Just finished my sophomore year of high school. I'm a rising junior. Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be a junior. Today I'm going to be talking about my sophomore year because this was a pretty interesting year. In K4 and K5, I went to private school. Then first grade through 10th grade or sophomore year, I had been going to public school, you know. If you watch any of my videos, you probably know that my uncle passed away when I was in 6th grade and my grandmother passed away when I was in 8th grade. So of course, like, middle school is terrible, all that kind of stuff. I'll link my bullying video and everything down below because I did a video about my freshman year and my bullying experience, I think. But ever since 6th grade, I had been wanting to do online school, especially after 8th grade. I was like, every single day, I'd be like, can I do online school? Can I do online school? can I do online school in ninth grade like whatever okay I'm talking about everything but not sophomore year let me go ahead and get to sophomore year okay so sophomore year I was like this is my year I'm gonna be 16 I'm almost finished with high school I can drive to school now because when I was 15 and a half in South Carolina you can drive by yourself on your street I'm like this is my year I'm not gonna let anybody run over me anymore because again if you watch my bullying video I got bullied and all kind of stuff and I was like nope this is my year I'm not letting anybody run over me this is my time to shine so Basically, the beginning of um, sophomore year was like really good. Calm before the storm, like you know, before hurricanes and stuff, how it's like really calm. Mm. Mm. My teachers weren't the best, but you know, I was like, hey, whatever. The only teacher that I really liked was my English teacher. Not a freshman anymore, going good. I really can't remember, like, oh yeah. And I went to Career Center. And again, I'll link my video about when I started online school. Like, I'll link a ton of videos below. I had my friends at Career Center and stuff, and we were like the best of friends and everything. And I was like, this is going really good. I'm making more friends. My classes are going good. I was getting good grades and everything. And then, it kind of started going like downhill. After a while, it was just like, we're plummeting. Like, it was just bad. Another thing, which was like probably like a red flag, whenever I would ask my career center friends to hang out, they were like always busy or couldn't hang out. I remember one time very vividly, I asked one of my friends from career center, if she want to come to the outlet malls with me, my mom, and my sister? And she never replied. And then that morning, she was like, oh, my mom said I couldn't go. And I'm like, oh, why am I not surprised? And they would talk about each other when they weren't there. So I, I, I should have known that these were not real friends. January rolls around. So January through June is when the hurricane came. In January, I got my wisdom teeth removed. If you follow me on Snapchat, you would know because I was Snapchatting. Like, after I got them out, I somehow got my phone and Snapchatted it. I may insert that if I still have it. But I somehow snapchatted and I was like, what am I doing? I missed a week and that was excused because of course like my teeth were removed. The next week I was like, I know this is terrible, but like I really don't want to go. I think it was before I got my wisdom teeth removed. I started getting like drama with my career center friends. I'm pretty sure they talked about me a lot when I was gone because after I got my wisdom teeth, yeah, they were mad because I was gone for that long or whatever because I had like a medical procedure happen in my face so I couldn't help it, but they got mad about that. I was in pain. I had a dry socket. My face hurts. My face is like this big, like, okay, but it's my fault. Okay, okay basically, let's just say I missed like two weeks because that second week, I was like, I do not want to go to school. Like every day, I was like, okay, tomorrow I'll go. Tomorrow I'll go. And I like did not want to go. Like, I did not want to go because that's how much I like, hated school. I went for a few days and I was telling my mom, I'm like, please, like, I'm at my breaking point. I want to do online school. Like, I was not having it anymore. Everybody had like switched up and like changed or just didn't like me and I just felt like you know like 
bad vibe. Honestly, I just felt like weird. I've been gone for that long and everybody had kind of like forgotten about me basically. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the year, I had also gotten in a few arguments with two of my friends. So one of them, he was a guy and he would always like hit people and stuff. And I texted him one day and I was like, stop hitting me because if you hit me again, we're basically, I was like, we're, we're gonna have it out because I'm gonna hit you back because I'm tired of you, like, if you're a dude, do not hit women. Like, it's not like we were going up punching him and stuff. He would just, like, hit people. You're not gonna hit me because if we're doing that, like, I'm gonna go upside your head, okay? Unless I hit you, like, unless I knock you upside your head, you should not be hitting me. Like, if it's joking or not, like, don't do that. He was like, well, if your boss is treating you wrong, you can't go up to them and say that you're um, tired of how they're treating you. I'm like, first of all, my boss ain't gonna be hitting me. So I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what? Another <laughs> friend, she would always, like, make fun of people and stuff. And she always felt like she could hit people because I guess I'm, like, the weakling or whatever. Or people thought, like, you thought. She thought I was, like, a weakling or whatever. And she would always, like, hit me. Or she would say something about what I was wearing and I remember this one time vividly I wore like some like boyfriend or girlfriend jeans or whatever from American Eagle she says something about my jeans or something about my butt or something and I'm like first of all why are you looking at my butt so of course I ranted on snapchat about it and get this I never said a name I never said what she looked like or anything okay I just said what had happened I was like we were going to lunch or coming back from lunch and she was like oh where's your butt or something like that or she said something about my jeans so I was saying that on snapchat so how about she gets offended and guess what the next day at school she was crying she was crying because i told the truth on my snapchat and i said i'm tired of people talking about what i wear she was crying like she was the victim what they're apparently gonna try to call me into the principal's office i'm like call me in for what because i said what happened at school those were other red flags for later in the story anyway back to after i got my wisdom teeth out so after i got my wisdom teeth out a few days later or whatever i started online school you don't know how happy i was i was like this is the best day of my life like I am getting away from these crazy people I went up to that school I turned in my books and I never looked back until later a few months later I had to look back I thought I would never have to look back but boy was I wrong I had to go back like twice or something first of all they were trying to like stop me from going to online school they're like you're such a great student we're gonna start this minority club and everything and I'm like too bad I hate this school these people are rude and racist and sexist and mean and bullies and I don't like none of these people except for like two people I think like a few days after I had started online school because I told them that I had started online school and they were angry like they were even more mad than when I got my wisdom teeth removed okay but I have been talking about this because like I hate this school if there's a better option out there I'm gonna go to the better option right if you're that mad you could just hang out with me on the weekends but oh you weren't my true friend so guess you weren't planning on doing that we were all like in the same career center class so of course when they were all together and I was like doing my own thing at online school they started like sending me all kinds of snapchats and like saying oh well you're ugly well you're a bitch well we never liked you well all you do is talk about people like no I don't like if I have something to say to someone I'll say it to them like yeah I crack jokes on people but I crack jokes on myself so I'm like I blocked one of them or however many of them I don't even know I see that someone has like added me on snapchat so of course I like added them back they messaged me and they're like I love your video so much and all this kind of stuff and I was like oh thank you and they're like so you drive and I was like yeah and then they sent like a video or whatever and they're like ha ha we got you so good you fell for it and stuff like that and I'm just like first of all first of all you're in school. How do you have time to be making a fake Snapchat, having a conversation with me, and sending videos saying, hey, Stevie, I got you so good. 
and like all of them were in this and I'm like where is the teacher and I'm just like the fact that they did this after I had left school I'm like what are you even doing so that happened and I blocked all of them and stuff if you've seen that my video about why reverse racism isn't real so I'm gonna talk about this again because this happened like during my sophomore year and I think it needs to be shared because the school of course did absolutely nothing about it I'll link that video down below if you want to see like more in depth about why reverse racism isn't real I'm just gonna say like what happened if you know the Bob Marley filter I said it was blackface I said some things blah 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 people got mad so okay I'm like I posted it on Instagram and then all of a sudden all these people from my old school flood the comments and I'm like none of you follow me so how did you get to this and guess who it was guess who it was the friend the friend that was hitting me or whatever or hitting a ton of people at the beginning of the year he showed like the people at my school so of course they like oh band together ooh, trying to like harass me on uh the internet the internet Gu guess where this was Gu guess just just guess where they all did this at drum roll please school on instagram harassing people at school like where are these teachers where are the principals where is the administration obviously not doing their job because they have people harassing people like during school if you were that angry and you hated me that much you could have said something to my face but no 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 that that's too much work let's let's do it over instagram over instagram okay and he even said i was like aren't you supposed to be in school and he said yeah because i have the mental capacity to do uh school and not have to do online school and i'm like that that's really funny because i had to have certain grades and a certain attendance to get into online school so that's funny you literally just admitted you were harassing me during school they were in the wrong and then the teachers were in the wrong for like stop bullying but yeah we're gonna let children harass other children during school my other friend was like everyone's saying you're crazy i'm like that's funny that I'm crazy because I said something was blackface, but yet all of these people in the comments are sending me death threats, calling me all kinds of names, calling me racist. They're the ones coming on my Instagram. So I'm like, that makes really good sense. If you have a problem with me or anything that I say, anything that I do, how I look, how I dress, tell me to my face like don't say something after you have your little army oh i i got my ego now like no say it to my face like if it's really bothering you that badly just be like hey i didn't like whatever you said or whatever this and that when they were like trying to harass me they had to tag all their little friends and all this kind of stuff because you know they couldn't like stand up for themselves they had to like tag their friends and everything and then i go up to the school about it and i'm like hey this and this is going on and nothing was done and blah blah, blah. and they're like well you were saying names first and you were saying names back so we can't really do anything about it and I'm just like so you just want me to sit there and like not say anything like oh if I sit there and not say anything you can do something about it but because I stood my ground it's like oh no you were just as bad as them so we can't do anything I take full responsibility for the stuff that I said but I'm like okay you have to understand when I said that I wasn't talking about the whole race and when I was saying those things back to them it's because they were saying it to me i know that i said mean stuff like that's my thing i know i say mean stuff i know sometimes i can be a really mean person like i know these things and then some other things happen and i can't disclose that information because you know they want to make their school look so perfect it's sad that they wait until people's lives are in danger to do something and that's all i'm going to say about that why do people's lives have to be lost for people to take a stand or do something especially like in orlando after that happened everyone wants to like band together and be like stop gun violence and whatnot i'm like okay but this has been happening for a while before that all the people like police violence um all the other mass shootings that mass shooting like all these people that have lost their lives and now it's like oh 
we should probably do something about this. The school system is whack. Like, they don't do anything. Because this is not the first time I've been to school about racism. First of all, I had been to school in 7th grade about some dudes being racist. I wrote down every single thing they said. If I could find my journal where I wrote down stuff, I would. I went to the vice principal with my mother about it and she's like we'll definitely do something they definitely did not do anything and then in ninth grade I went because the people in band were being racist I went again in 10th grade because they were being racist I went again in 10th grade because people were harassing me on the internet. What they're being taught at home and stuff. And I'm like, but you could help prevent it. I understand you can't go and teach these children. But I'm like, how about you try to tell them why racism is wrong? Why sexism is wrong? Why rape is wrong? Judging people on their sexuality is wrong. Like, they're like, no, that's inappropriate for school. No, excuse me. You need to teach these kids about why this stuff is wrong. So maybe they'll, like, have a little bit of education so they won't do these things that's how people end up being stupid because they don't want to teach their kids about this kind of stuff that they need to know rape is wrong sexism is wrong racism is wrong homophobia is wrong like you need to like teach your children this just say no no you need to teach children like oh this is what a condom is oh this is what birth control is you should probably teach that instead of saying like just say no just say no that's how people end up being pregnant in high school like maybe you should teach children things and they wouldn't end up 16 and pregnant like ever thought about that this video is like getting into all kinds of different things but honestly my sophomore year was like really good but then it was like a hot mess so you know that was my sophomore year it was good at first and then it went really downhill and like my camera's dying and running out of space extremely quickly so i hope you all enjoyed this video have a great day and i'll talk to y'all later bye